Welcome back to the Big B and Little T channel. I'm Tina, also known as Little T. And I just walked back from our parcel pending area from our apartment complex with this big box. And I'm excited to open it up. It's from Mike's Mighty Good Ramen Company. And I just tried my first Mike's Mighty Good Ramen this week. I had bought just one little container of it, thinking that Brian might take it with him to work but I ate it instead, and I really liked it, and I thought, why not just order it directly from the website? I get a little bit better price, and I get it in bulk, so it's saving something. I'm not sure what, but it's saving something. So let's get this box opened, and today we are going to up our ramen game. It's not gonna be just like those college days when you had those ramen packets. Let's see what's inside the box. Box. It says Kraft Ramen. This is a six pack of vegetarian soy sauce ramen soup. And this is a six pack of, let's see, it's not see through like the other one was. This is the one I tried before. Vegetarian vegetable ramen. Six of those. And then this one is vegetarian miso ramen. Let's look at that first one up close to. This is the vegetarian Soy sauce ramen. Six of each of these, so that's 18 cups of ramen. Those are instant ramen. And then in this box, let's see what's in there. This one is vegetarian kimchi ramen soup. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of those, so we have 25 packages in all. So we are going to use one of these to demonstrate today how we can up our ramen game. Also on Mike's Mighty Good website, they once you sign up and order yours, they send you emails and they have a blog. They also have recipes on how to, you know, same thing we're doing, upping our ramen game. You're just gonna do it with me first before you do it with Mighty Good Mike. So let's get to the kitchen and start cooking. Paul, where are you going? She said to meet us in the kitchen. Let's go to the kitchen. So where the heck is the kitchen? I don't know where the kitchen This way, look this way. Let's go. We're going to up our ramen game, but first I wanna show you what all is going on in the kitchen right now. It's kind of a busy place this Monday morning, so let's take a look. First, I've got my breakfast set aside. I have the warm rice, the warm cabbage, and tofu mixture. This is kind of a big bowl for breakfast. If I don't eat it all, I'll just save some for a snack later or even for lunch if I decide to eat lunch today. Topping here, I've got my jar opener because this jar of bouillon right here, veg vegetarian bouillon, gave me the biggest trouble today trying to get it opened. I had to use my little can opener here to poke around on the top. You can see it's dented in on the top of the jar. But anyway, right here on the stove, I have some soup that I'm mixing up. This was just kind of random. I put some onion in it, sauteed it with some garlic, and I have a can of diced tomatoes in there. About a teaspoon and a half of this. And you can see from the trash can, everything else was just a bunch of cans. I have enchilada sauce, dark red kidney beans, or light red kidney beans, black beans, vegetarian chili, and I had half a jar of green salsa. All those things went into this, and I may, if there's room, add some corn into it later. We'll see. I haven't added any spices. I also chopped a few pickled jalapenos and put them in there, but um, it's just cooking right now. It's not very cold outside, so it's not really a soup day, but sometimes it's just easy to make soup and then 
Maybe have some cornbread with it. We have a few leftover biscuits from last night's dinner. Would be nice, or even just some crackers or tortilla chips. So that's gonna have a Mexican flavor to it, and dinner's already gonna be ready for tonight. So that's always great. Here I have some carrots that have been chopped really finely, cooking down, because I'm making Lucy's food. Our dog, Lucy, she's an adopted boxer. I make food for her besides her kibble that she gets, and this looks like a big mess of whatever, but down below there's the very bottom. I mixed in some oats with chia and let that sit. Cooked some rice, which was also the rice that you saw in my breakfast, and Brian took some to have with his lunch, left over with some roasted vegetables. And then it has nutritional yeast and some peanut butter, some oil, I just did some organic canola oil, peas and carrots. That's what we've got going on in the kitchen. I'll put the recipe to the homemade dog food up in the corner, so if you want to make your dog some dog food, you'll have the rest. I'm going to take a little break and eat my breakfast, and then we will get on to the video from here. So I've got to get this in the trash. It's a busy day in the kitchen today. So we have our vegetables here. I'm going to use this non-stick skillet and I'm going to start with the onions and the bell peppers and then I'm also going to get some garlic out of my refrigerator. I just have some jarred chopped garlic. Of course if you're at work and you don't want to give anybody garlic breath you can definitely leave it out. So we're going to get this skillet onto the stove and get started with sauteing these vegetables. My kettle just went off. That means it's boiling water and I'm going to add it to the ramen cup where we will steep the noodles for six minutes. That's what the directions say. Six minutes. Inside we have our noodles, a little packet of sesame oil, and the vegetable flavor packet, which is obviously under the noodles. Kind of hard to get out. So here's our packet. The directions say to take the packet and the listening oil out, and then we're gonna pour our boiling water. And it's said to go about an inch to the top, so we will do that. And we're just going to place a teacup on top of it, and I'm gonna scoot it to the side so we can saute these vegetables. That's six minutes. I'm gonna set my timer. It's going for six minutes. Now let's get our stove top turned on, medium high heat, and in go the onions and peppers. You could add some oil here if you wanted. I'm just, since it's a non-stick skillet, I'm not gonna worry about adding any oil. We'll just dry sauce. And I have some chopped garlic. I'm just gonna add a quarter to half of a teaspoon. The more flavor the better. The onions and peppers and garlic have softened up a bit. I'm going to toss in the broccoli. It's just a serving of this seaweed. It's three tablespoons. I'm going to put in just a little it may be a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. It definitely has a fishy smell to it, but it's, you see how dark green it is, almost looks flat. And they're dry, so it looks like just very small leaves, and once they get wet, you'll see how they expand and turn a lighter color green. So I'm just going to toss those in. I'm going to add a splash of the hot water, and it's probably going to steam and sizzle here. Give that a stir. I 
Turn the heat down to medium. I'm gonna put, pop a lid on here and let it steam. We have about a minute left on our noodles. It's gonna take a little bit longer than that for the broccoli to cook all the way, but we'll be ready to put it together here in just one minute. Our timer just went off for the noodles. So we're going to take off our saucer and stir the noodles around. They're fully cooked. They're just all kind of wound up in each other. We separated a little bit. It's amazing how much they expand. Then we have our packet, miso soy sauce ramen packet. This has the seasonings and flavor in it. Some dried bits of herbs it looks like. Stir that in. Smelling really nice. We have our little packet of sesame oil that we'll add in. And again, if you're really watching your calories and don't want to add the oil in, that is completely up to you. So you just pour. I've just been using about half when I use do it for myself. It'll add some flavor, but it won't add a whole tablespoon of fat, which would be 120 calories, so it's just more like a teaspoon. And I'll show you the container we'll put it in since we know all those vegetables in that pan won't fit in here. Scoop this to the side. And then this is just a big soup mug I got at our local grocery store. So let's go ahead and pour this into here. And it filled that cup about half as you can see. Let's check our vegetables and how they're doing. Chop for the steam. Okay, it looks like they're all cooked up. The, the broccoli would be the main thing to see whether it's cooked or not, but it's bright green. It's not soggy, which I can't stand soggy vegetables. So all the water is gone that we were steaming it in. Again, you could have added some soy sauce, but I would wait on seasonings just to see what the seasoning packet, how strong it is. You don't want to get too salty. Let's go to adding in our vegetables. I'm not sure they're all going to fit even in this container, but we'll do our best. We are upping our ramen game by adding a more fiber, more nutrition, more flavor vitamins, minerals, all those good things, and some of it's spilling off to the side, you can see. I'm gonna get this full. Of course, I'm not gonna eat it now because I just finished breakfast, but maybe even Big B might take it for lunch tomorrow. Looks like I just about got it all. I see some red peppers sneaking over the side. Find those noodles down in there. Hello, noodles. Where are you? There we are. Might be easier if I was using a spoon, huh? There we have a delicious hot cup of ramen. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of our Flat leaf parsley on top. And then for an added touch, we have some sesame seeds. Again, an optional ingredient, but just makes it seem that much more authentic. And there we go. A superb large cup of ramen noodle soup.
thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video about upping your ramen game. I showed you some quick and easy ways to add more nutrition to bulk up that cup of ramen or package of ramen that you might have. If you decide to order some for Mike's Mighty Good Ramen, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. This big cup of ramen that we made today, look at that, chock full. It's gonna be somebody's lunch today or tomorrow. Will it be little teas or will it be big bees? We'll have to wait and find out. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We put out videos once a week on Tuesdays. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.